Here we have an idle to a salute animation, and I want to fix the feet. So I'm going to go over here and plot the character to a control set. You can't see the things popping up, the, the windows, overlay windows, but uh, apply to control set. And basically, I'm going to start editing the feet. And when I look at the feet, I'm looking to see if they're lined up on the ground. <clears throat> I want them all to start and end from the same place. So what I'm doing is taking a look at where the character is. I kind of want to lower him down to the ground a little bit. And on a layer, I'm setting a key. And so there he is, at least on the layer. But you see how his feet are still slipping. So I want to basically start editing the feet. This foot isn't going anywhere. So in the curve editor, um, I'm not looking for anything special. So first I'm gonna bake down this original offset. Um, and there it is baked down. You didn't see the pop up because uh, of the recording software I'm using. But so basically here's all that action you're seeing in his left foot. And I just wanna kill that. I just wanna put all of his weight on it. And, uh, you know, sometimes you want the fidelity of it rolling around and rocking around. But for my purposes here, I just want to nail it to the ground. So now I need to worry about the right foot. And uh, I'll put a little bit of pull on the left foot here. And uh, go to the right foot. And take a look at it. Can't really do the same thing with the right foot. We want it to start and end in the same place, but we don't want it to be so slippy. So I'm going to find where the last point it is where, right before it leaves the ground. Delete these keys and slide this key over. And uh, all the keys previous to that now will just kind of be locked into place. So now it goes up into the step in. Those keys, you know, we can just get rid of those too. It's just kind of a real fast way of doing it and see that foot still overlaps but right now I'm kind of worrying about the ins and the outs of that foot so I'll do the same thing here kind of go through and delete those keys and then slide this one over to where I think his foot would plant nice before the end of the clip cool now I'm gonna make a layer and start layer editing this foot. So basically I want to find where I thought it took off the ground last and set a bookend key. And then kind of go up and do the same thing on the other side, set a bookend key. The bookend keys basically say that before this key, this bookend, and after this bookend, everything's gonna stay the same. These are zero keys. So they aren't affecting the animation at all. They're in, they're on a layer. So now I want to edit this foot over. Kind of like, oh, there it looks good. And maybe plant it there. Set a little, set a little key. And I'm going to create a pose. Now maybe I'll just copy this key. I change my mind a lot when I'm animating. Uh, you got to stay fluid. So over here, that's where I want him to start picking up his foot. And there's where kind of where he sets it down. So I can either set a pose or I can move this key over here. I'm just going to move this key over here. There we go. And paste. So now you can see that little flat curve in there and where he just kind of brings his foot in. Make some adjustments. Sometimes it doesn't always do what I want it to do. Like, hmm, what's going on here? Aha! The pose that I put in there wasn't mirrored. I don't see why I would need to be married, but sometimes. I 
All right. Kind of adjust it around, play with it, try different things until it works. There we go. There's that. It's not quite the same. I don't know if I really like that. Hmm. Let's see. That didn't really work out. So I bake those down. It's kind of a cheat. Sometimes when it's not working, you can kind of do the same thing that you do that I did there with the first key. Is I can just like copy the key where I think it's good. Kind of cut one out to make a little bookmark of where I want it to be. Cut that out, make a little bookmark. And cut these. Shaboom. Come on. Maybe just these. Now, what I'm going to do here is just delete all of these. That copy, but tangent didn't work. Now I just paste and just make this linear and flat. There we go, almost there. Got some weirdness going on, might be in the toe. And what I'm doing here is plotting it down. You can't see the drop down again because of the key. That's kind of weird. So sometimes when you can't get it pinned down, you got to do a kind of a copy and paste hack that I like to do. It's copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. And it just kind of hammers it down into place. Not the best way, but. When you're making a video and you're a little bit nervous and you're kind of doing the wrong things, that uh, works out for you. So now I've got this weird twist here I want to get rid of. And since this foot motion isn't really important to it all, you know, I'm going to, I'm just going to cut these. And again, when I'm when I'm pulling down, I you can't see my drop downs because I'm just kind of using a default recording software that came with my box. So, so you here, and now yeah, we've got some foot placement now. Now there's a little bit of slide in the front we want to take care of. Go up until there, and cut these out. Cut that one out too. It's a little too high. A little weird. And jump. And maybe take one more out. Let's just take all these out. These are the keys that go throughout the entire leg. And let's flatten that. A little bit of a slip in his push. Let's just bring this solid foot over. And all right. Pretty good. And we can kind of go from there. And save. All 
Alright. Plot our control set. And here's our character. Alright, we've got a salute now with the feet and everything all set up. We notice not quite matching. So, go to the front here. Let's plot this control set down so that we can uh, go steal a pose from his idle animation. And a little bit of voodoo, I like to get rid of the, the control set after I'm done using it because you can reapply it really fast in Motion Builder. Okay. This is idle. And cool. So let's just take a pose from there. Let's apply a control set. Again, these selections uh, aren't available in this screen grab software, but all right. Just grab them all. Let's update that pose. Still got our animation going. Like that. Let's go back to our salute animation, plot our control set. Boom, there's our control set. Let's get some of these reaches on just to make sure these are our kind of our core body parts Let's create a layer see how that kind of gets wonky it's because i still have the mirror selected let's turn that off sure let's refresh set a key there and set a key this is our I think we could just like set another key. Drop our pose in so we can match our start and finish. There we go. Kind of slaps it into place. And now it matches in the front and the end. All right, set some zero keys in there where our bookmarks, where we want our animations to start and end. And I'm just going to get rid of this front part here. It just waits a little bit too long to do anything. So, put this back on the skeleton and grab all of the skeleton bits, delete those keys, grab all these keys and shift them over these are this is the entire animation double check that you have everything selected and if you have anything on the face you want to grab those bits too i don't have anything on his face today though let's change our end frame 79 and now we have a salute animation boom Ta -da! there you go that's kind of cool all right and save that There we go. Go down here and let's rename that take. And there's little selector bits here. So let's change it to salute. It's all good. Let's save it again. All right, how much time we got left here? Almost done, seven seconds. And there we go, let's send it to uh, iClone.